you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving link mechanism and the question goes like this it says in the mechanism shown in the figure above oa revolve anti-clockwise about o while a b slides through the pivoted block c draw the locus of b for one revolution of oa oa is 40 millimeter and ab is 145 millimeter right so what you should do first of all is that again is to draw your horizontal line in this manner I have this and I'll draw the horizontal line in this manner you can see that and also I'll draw the vertical line at any given radius in this way right let me make it Now this is where the boat line are meeting. That will be the center of the crank. Now, if you look at the figure closely at the top right corner of the screen, you discover that the OA is the radius of the circle, and the circle you're seeing there, which is OA, is called the crank. So that is the part of this mechanism that is rotating, right? So we'll measure 40 millimeter on our meter rule, which is the crank that starts the revolution. So from here to here, 0 to 4 is 40 millimeter, which you can see. And I'll place it at the center point here, right? And I'm going to draw a circle this way. So this circle, I'm going to thicken it. You can see that so that is the crack and we are told that um, it slides this crank rotates what anti-clockwise right it rotates in this manner so when I put it here I need to draw a line to show the what it is going anti-clockwise so this point here it is anti-clockwise rotating I'll have to divide this crank into 12 equal parts, right? I'll divide this crank into what? 12 equal parts. So I'll take my meter rule or my compass with the radius that I use to draw the crank. You can see I'm going to cut up here. I'll come to the other point here too. I'll place it this way. I will cut here up to right this point here and I'll come to this side also here I'll cut left and I'll also cut right so where they meet I'll draw a line that will pass through the center in this fashion taking the center as my reference point each of those points there will pass through that point Paint line. You can see that. Paint line. Paint line. This is what we have here. And one last one, which is this. Paint line. So you can see that. Now we're told it's rotating anti-clockwise so before we start this point you're seeing in diagram is this point here we have which is called point a right that is the point a in diagram and i'm going to take in that axis right i'll take in the axis in this manner from here to here you can see that and we're also told that um the distance from the center of the circle to where the point at which it is pivoted, C, is 88. 
So I'm going to measure 88 from this point from 0 to 88. This is 80 and this is 88 here. And at that point, I'm going to draw a vertical line, faint line first of all, this way. And I'll measure from here to here 13 millimeter. So from this point here, I'll measure as shown in the diagram. I'm at zero. This is 13 here. Is that okay? So at that point, I'm going to draw my pivot, right? So it is at this point. At this point here, we'll call it point C. So every point will not pass through that point. So I'll draw a line AB. I will give AB in the equation to be what? 100 and what? 45. So what I'm going to do is this. I'll take my meter rule, right? And I'll draw a line from this point. I'll pass through AB. I'll pass through C because it is pivoted and it's 45. You can see that? So I'll draw my line. I'll thicken it to pass through C and touch here, right? That point there will be what? Point B. You can see that? So it means that at this point here, let's see. At this point here, I will draw at any given radius of your choice. Just draw a parallel line. Right? And that parallel line and just draw this. You see that it is passing through that point, point C. You can see that? Now the next thing that we are doing here is, that is all we have to do, right? This is A, this is B, C as shown in the diagram. Now we are going to repeat the same process at every point because it's a one copy revolution. So from A back to A is one revolution, right? And we are two is going anti-clockwise. So I'm going to call this point here, this is O, right? This is the point that I'm meeting, this is O, A, which is the crank. So this will be A1, right? This will be A2, this will be A3, this will be A4, this will be A5, A6, this point will be A7, A8, A9, A10, and what? A11, then here will be the a12 that we have there, right? So I'll repeat the same process for every point. So what I'm going to do is I'll be taking this my meter rule. Since I started from A, the next point will be A1. So this is 0 to A1 passing through C. You can see that? A1 passing through C. Right? And I'll be ending at 45. 145. 0 to 1. This is 145 here. And I'll draw, but this time I'm going to use the end faint line. I'll stop here. This point I stop will be the B1 we have. Since we are talking about A1, that will be B1. I'll go again to the next point here. Passing through C to the same distance from 0. Passing through C here to stop at this point 45 and I'll move. Right, this will be B2. Right, I'll go again the next one. From A3 passing through C again, right in this manner. Stop here. So I'll come. This will be B3, right? I'll do the same thing again from this point from A4 passing through C in this manner. You can see that. Stop at this point here. That will be B4. Then I'll come from A5, passing through the pivot here. C. You can see that. This will be B5. Again, from 6, passing through that point there. So this is passing through C, this point, 
this will be p6 come again from 7 again as entry that point here I see that this will be b7 then from 8 here as entry that pivot there this way this will be b8 change into from b9 from a9 here pass into the pivot this way from 45 this is b9 then from 10 here also pass into the pivot c Number five here. This is the word B10. Then the last one of the list passing through the point C here. So this will be B11. Right. So I'll use my French curve, and I'm going to connect all those points together. Right. I'm going to connect all those points together using my French curve. This is what we have here. So this is what we are reproducing in the figure here. So if you find this video helpful, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.